and welcome to Community Link. My name is Christian Hoffman, Community Link here. This is Community Missions opportunity to talk a little bit about uh, what's going on with Community Missions and how uh, Community Missions might be able to serve uh, you in the community and also how you in the community might be able to help us to accomplish uh, just that. Again, Christian Hoffman, today I'm joined by um, some of our staff from our newest program at Community Missions. This is the Snug Outreach Team. I'm joined um, by Antoine White, Jr. here to my immediate right, Shante McTire, and then Tommy Sanders as How well. So welcome. Thank you all so much for coming Thank and joining you. us. How are you doing, How are you doing today? Doing? Thank Go, you. Doing well. Doing well. Well, first off, before we get into talking about what SNUG is and uh, why we're so excited to be able to offer that to specifically the Niagara Falls community, I want to talk um, about something that we do have coming up each and every year. We had to go uh, do things a little bit differently during COVID, uh, but we have our Sweetheart Dinner. This will be the 26th annual Sweetheart Dinner that will host on Friday, March 31st. It'll be at the Sheraton Niagara Falls, where it has been for the past several years um, now, but we're back and uh, hopefully COVID continues to recede a little bit here and there. Yeah. Um, so we don't have to worry t as much about um, you know, transmission and such, but we're uh, looking forward to what should be a great opportunity for lots of people to come out, uh, enjoy uh, a fun night of some great food, um, learning more about some of our programs that Community Missions offers, and then of course, walking away with uh, with something that you've won, whether it be one of about 100, 120 baskets that we have to offer, tons of gift cards, uh, silent auction items and such. Really a fun night uh, each and every year. Friday, March 31st, we hope that you will mark your calendars, save the date, and you can also go and start purchasing tickets uh, online at www.communitymissions.org. And also sponsorship um, is also available. If you have any businesses out there that you think would make sense to add to about 200, 250 um, supporters of Community Missions. We'd love to have a conversation as to how you could best uh, kind of come alongside us and support uh, our sweetheart dinner. Um, so thank you for that consideration. And now let's uh, get back into uh, why we want to talk about here. Mm -hmm. um, so this is the Snug Outreach Team, again, for Niagara Falls. Um, I believe um, there were 12 different Snug Outreaches all throughout New York State. 14. 14 now because us and Utica, I think, yes. have joined yes. on. So first off, I'll start with you, Antoine. Why don't you tell us what is the SNUG Outreach? Uh, well, SNUG, uh, first and foremost, is guns spelled backwards. Okay. Uh, should not use guns. Uh, we are a gun uh, prevention program. Uh, we are adversaries against violence. Um, what we do is uh, we reduce gun violence, um, and how we do that, we uh, mediate conflict. And who we work with, we work with the highest risk of people who are shooting someone or getting shot. Okay. So um, that's really entails, uh, but uh, snug is more in depth uh, because uh, there's more work that needs to be done than just that right there. Sure. And that's why we as a team do what we do. So I'll just go down the line here. Shantae, what, what does that look like day to day so far? I know it's new, but what does that look like so far? Um, it's new. Uh, from day to day, um, we uh, receive a report from our um, police department, um, any violent uh, crimes that have been committed or shootings, um, they, they give us information. And uh, we try to follow up um, and you know, hopefully it don't be no retaliation amongst two people. Um, being that we know a lot of people in the community, um, we try to immediate that, you know, if anybody feel like, you know, they can't come to terms with, you know, sometimes people um, disagree and then maybe they could come to terms to agree upon something. So. That's pretty much what we do. So community, 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 right? Yes. Yes. I, uh, I guess I shouldn't assume all three of you are from Niagara Falls. Yes. yes. Right, and know the community pretty well. Yes. Um, Tommy, talk a little bit about, uh, I guess, why this you think this is important for Niagara Falls specifically and um, you know what you're trying to do about it. Well, I think it's important because it's something different that you have three individuals right here, sitting right here that have been in the streets and been places where we can help the young youth now. You know what I'm saying? We all did our little life thing, and now we can come out here and share love to the to our community and show something different. You know what I mean? We tired of people saying that it, we don't have this or we don't have that. Today we have snug. 
you have something where you can come to, you can come talk to us, we can help you out, we can give you something that something different. So that's what I think about it. I think it's nice of me. You know, you mentioned youth in there particularly. You mm -hmm. know, when I'm thinking you know, from an outsider's perspective, I guess, um, when, you know, gun violence and stuff, I'm thinking, you know, 20-somethings, maybe mm -hmm. maybe even a little bit older than that. Is that mm -hmm. the case? Is that really who you're targeting or no? No. Our, our main focus and target is really the ages between 14 to 25. Wow. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. Because uh, that is the age group that is pretty much our, uh, pretty much amongst the, uh, the rate of where it's at now. Uh, the percentage of where the violence and uh, because uh, the second leading cause of, of uh, death in this country is by firearm mm -hmm. and the same as with uh, you know it being 60 percent of uh, african-american males that are in uh, incarcerated or are dead mm -hmm. based on um, gun violence so mm -hmm. what we do is we try to um, do what we can to get out there to uh, be a part of the cure so that um, these these young men and women get an opportunity to have a chance at life um, and try to redirect their minds. So that's uh, one of the main focus and goals of what we try to do as an outreach team. So you're building relationships. How does that look? What does that look like? How are you doing so? Um, we we let people come talk to us. Like okay. if you, some people can't talk to their parents. Some people can't talk to their aunts or uncles. Um, we give them an opportunity to let us know what's going on with them. You know what I'm saying? Um, uh, speaking with the youth, you know, um, sometimes they don't have people to push you to push them enough. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes they don't want to listen to their parents. So if you could be a uh, a good auntie, as they, <laughs> Auntie Shanny, yeah. um, you can um, you can reach you can reach out to them. You know they can let you know how they feel. You know sometimes um, you could be a listening ear, mm -hmm. not a running mouth. You know what I'm saying? So we give them the opportunity to let us know what's going on with them. You know what I'm saying? And so where are you doing that? Are you? Uh, we do it at 1702 Pine okay. Avenue. Um, the door is always open from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Um, once everything get all settled in and settled in, uh, they will be able to come near. And um, we have couches. We're gonna have a studio built in um, inside. If anyone is interested in becoming a singer, or rapper, mm -hmm. they can utilize that. We also um, have PlayStation Five. People can come in. Mm. We also have, you know, an area where they can lounge, eat dinner, you know, kind of feel like at home. Like even for kids who don't want to go home after school, they can come there and, you know, relax and chill and, you know, get acquainted with the team. Mm. Some people, I'm the first woman in Snug for mm -hmm. Niagara Falls, so mm -hmm. some people don't feel comfortable with talking to a male mm -hmm. figure. Maybe they'll talk to a female. And some males don't feel comfortable with talking with males. Sometimes mm -hmm. they'll talk with a female. So yeah. we're giving the youth and young adults the opportunity mm -hmm. um, to come and speak with us. Let us know what we can do for mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Why is what is snug different? Well, what makes it different than what you might see in other places or other approaches? Um, to reducing gun violence um, because it's, it's been working. Okay, that's why we have 14 sites. Okay, mm -hmm. um, and um, and it's because of, you know, um, you know, Governor uh, Hoko, Hoko, you know, uh, you know, uh, signing it into uh, effect of this going on, and it has went from one site, and now we have 14 sites. Mm -hmm. So it, it's been effective, and it's done worked all over. Um, you know, the state of New York, and, uh, and it's going to continue to keep growing because that's what we want to do because, like I said, it goes back to, you know, uh, you know, the second leading cause of death in here in the United States is by a firearm, you know. Um, so we would just want to, like, replace, you know, the firearm with a book, mm -hmm. you know, uh, yes. with uh, a helping hand, um, a place where they can come and feel, you know, as my uh, co-worker said, uh, a place where they can feel at home, where they can feel safe, they can feel secure, you know, try to change their minds from having to be so incarcerated within their uh, 
own community where we can start branching out and start showing them different things. So that's one of the important aspects of what Snug is really about, giving an opportunity, not only just for us, but it also gives us an opportunity to give the community an opportunity to uh, be themselves. Right. Mm -hmm. So you're called a Snug Outreach Team. What does outreach look like so far, so far Tommy? Well, we start that in um, February. Okay. You know, we haven't started right now because okay. we just getting our office and everything together. It's like alchemy. Alchemy means change. Mm -hmm. It's like you walk in a room, you might not like the color of the room, <clears throat> so you change it. And so that's what we, that's what Snug is about, changing lives. Yep. Um, so um, one of the aspects um, from what I've learned about it a little bit is um, responding to shootings. Like if a shooting were to happen, yeah. what does that look like? Um, uh, we actually haven't had an we We experienced a shooting that happened uh, two days before the actual New Year, uh, me and my coworker um, right here. And um, we experienced that. And um, we you kind of go on the scene, you get information, you find out who's the victim, who's the, the perpetrator. And then and what we try to do is we try to um, make sure that uh, we're on the scene where we're able to get the correct information that we need so that we can reach out to both parties, you know, um, and try to, uh, like, a, like the pitch, immediate the conflict, mm -hmm. okay. you know what I mean? So that it doesn't go no further than where it's at, mm -hmm. you know, because uh, sometimes uh, it can, but uh, that's what we specialize in. We specialize in immediate conflict so that, you know, people can um, get their minds redirected in a mm -hmm. different way where they don't have to um, think about revenge or retaliation. You know, uh, that's our mm -hmm. important job is making sure when we get caught on the scene, we get right into the solution. Right, right. Because that's what we're about. We're mm -hmm. solution based and we're going to continue to keep doing what we do. Mm -hmm. What do you think makes gun violence different in Niagara Falls than you might see in Buffalo or Albany or somewhere else that there may be a snug outreach team? Although that Niagara Falls may seem like it's a small city, mm -hmm. but uh, Niagara Falls is a city that's on the rise and always been on the rise. Mm -hmm. It's a honeymoon capital. <laughs> it uh, has the wonder of the world there. <laughs> yeah. so, so everybody come the and visit there. But um, it has kind of went up since from the pandemic on to now. Mm -hmm. um, and we just want to continue to keep, you know, uh, tackling those numbers and getting them down to a low rate so that eventually we get it down to zero sure. um, mm -hmm. because um, don't nobody want to see a lost life mm -hmm. um, and, and don't nobody want to see nobody, you know, go to jail. So what we try to do is just um, be there to uh, be that uh, helping hand, that healing hand uh, for both sides so mm -hmm. that um, we can continue to do our job, and that is to reduce gun violence. Mm -hmm. Instead of you feeling like your solution is a gun, you, maybe you can learn how to talk about it. <coughs> talk about how you feel. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, what got you into this work? Why are you here? Why are you doing specifically gun outreach, gun violence reduction? I like to hear from each of you. Because, obviously. because we, again, you want you want it from each and every one of us, or yeah, just yeah, each of you go through. Well, because again. I was the I was part of the problem when I was in the streets. Okay. You know, saying so I was in group homes. I was a runaway kid. I I was doing all type of other different things growing up in the streets. So now I could turn that. I've been in prison, and now I could turn that around and give and give something different to the youth that's out there now. Okay. You know what I mean? And and that's why I took on to this job because I know I can help. I'm passionate with with what I do, and I want to be able to change a life or so, a life or two. We know we can't stop all the gun violence in the town, but if we could stop one or two, we're doing our job. 